I'll say this. I've, I have had the benefit to watch some people excel in a lot of different sports. And this may be a biased statement, but I don't think that I've ever watched someone wear the crown of champion any better than Daryl Royal. It was just natural. He was just that kind of a person that was born in him. Friends, uh, you know, and for you know, my definition of a friend is uh, somebody you'd uh, do anything in the world for, whatever they needed, and that's the way Coach and I were. As long as I knew Coach Royal, he had a kind word to say to everyone, and that that means everyone. That's part of his upbringing. He loved it. He was a person, he was a people person. He wanted to be with people all the time. He didn't mind stopping and shaking hands no matter how many times he had to do it. Uh, but you could tell the coach enjoyed his fans and he liked talking to them. He enjoyed taking pictures, signing autographs, and he'd stay there as long as they wanted him to. And that, that is a great little sign into Daryl's soul. That's right, he was just like you and I, but he just happened to be a guy up there that everybody in the world knew. It didn't make him feel like he was superior to anybody. He just, you know, all equal. He started losing just little memories, you know, little things. One day, he and I and Joe Jamel got together to talk, and I realized that, you know, there's something happening there, and he wasn't quite quite grasping the moment and uh, he would forget what he said or he'd forget who we were so that was you know hard to see. At a certain level you see this vibrant individual with who's who's been through so many different things and has so much to give and then suddenly it it the memory loss happens and you, you can't you can't and you can't share. And I grew to learn that I, to place myself where he is if I can. And one day I went over and he said, Edith, where am I stationed? I said, well, Daryl, you're stationed in Miami Beach and you're walking on the beach in that sand and you just love the people you're with and you're having a great time. You're in basic training, and when you finish that basic training in Miami Beach, you're going to be transferred over to Davis Monthan Field, and you're going to learn how to be a tail gunner in a B B24. I think it was a B24. And uh, after you fin learn how to shoot that gun out of that tail gun p position, you're going to get transferred up to Will Rogers Field, and that's where you're going to get to marry me. And he was back in that time with me, and I was with him. So I always regretted that I didn't, uh, maybe the only regret I have is that I should have told him I loved him more. I just assumed he knew it, but I think if you just repeat it over and over to someone who is ill like that, that it's helpful to them. Obviously the DKR fund is, is vital to, to so many people because it has touched so many people. Well, it's a terrible thing to happen to someone and uh, it's something that can happen to anybody, it can happen to me or you, you know, so. Uh, it's a dreaded disease, and you hate to see your loved ones come down with it, but, you know, until they come up with a cure for it or prevention, it's going to happen. I'm not going to say it's an endless foe and something that we can't find a cure for, but I think, it, I think we will prevail. Through the ages they have developed 
remedies for so many things that we thought couldn't have remedies for. A hundred years from now, I hope nobody even thinks about it. I hope it'll just be completely eradicated. Texans have a lot to be proud about. It's how you wear it is part of the example. We saw the very best example in Coach Royal. He was just, you know, an, uh, a super guy, the kind of guy you'd want to be like if when you grow up, be like Darrell Royal. An old man traveling a lone highway came at evening cold and gray to a chasm that was vast, deep and wide. The old man crossed in the twilight dim for the sullen stream held no fears for him, but he turned when he reached the other side and built a bridge to span the tide. Old man said a fellow pilgrim near, you're wasting your strength with building here. Your journey will end with the ending day and you never again must pass this way. You've crossed the chasm deep and wide. Why build you this bridge at eventide? The builder lifted his old gray head. Good friend, and the path I have come, he said. There follows after me today a youth whose feet must pass this way. This stream, which has been as naught to me, to that fair-haired youth may a pitfall be. He too must cross in the twilight dim. Good friend, I'm building this bridge for him. He loved everybody, so everybody seemed to love him. Just like to say that I love everybody that helps us out with this fund and that it's it's being well well managed and well used. And it's a it's a great it's great to have all the contributions and all the love from the audience that's here.